Today marks day one for the city of Dayton's employee vaccine mandate. City leaders spent all day meeting with the heads of the Dayton police and fire unions. That meeting wrapped up inside the last hour. Two News reporter Madeline Ashley live in the studio with us with updates from both sides of the issue. Madeline. Brooke, John, a meeting between city and union leaders at 9 a.m. in City Hall ended with no resolution. The vaccine mandate, which began today, requires city employees to get vaccinated or be tested weekly. Those who don't comply will be sent home on unpaid leave. Now in effect, the city vaccine mandate causing mixed emotions between city leaders and workers. Had some fruitful uh, discussions, some positive discussion back and forth. Um, however, uh, we do not have anything in place that's going to be more beneficial to our members in the current policy. Following the day long meeting, the new mandate will still require city employees to vaccinate or submit to weekly testing or face unpaid leave. It, it's discouraging. Uh, we realize that there's a process in place and it certainly doesn't handcuff anybody on either side of the bargaining table. In a statement last Thursday, City Manager Shelley Dickstein says of the city's nearly 1,800 employees, 773 aren't vaccinated or have failed to release their vaccine status. Of that number, 464 are police and fire department employees. Regardless of the final outcome, Dayton local firefighter 136 President Craig Robinson and his team say they just want to serve. It's, uh, that's why we're here. That's why we are elected to the executive boards of the respective unions that you see in front of you. And we're here to make sure all of our members are treated fairly. As of now, no plans have been made for a future meeting between union and city leaders. We also spoke with city leaders on today's meeting, and you'll hear their reaction at 6. In the studio, Madeline Ashley, 5 on 2.